Good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and we will be discussing more points in this video. Now first of all I'll clear a few more points because you know one of the questions, one of the very interesting questions had come out from one of the uh, from one of the users. So his question was that you know if if a line or if the fate line is starting from the lifeline right and it and, and, and it is kind of making its way towards the Jupiter right so how do we time it now that's a very good question because this line also becomes an offshoot from the lifeline right we realize that the lifeline timing starts from say here and it reaches here say at 40 45 ish whereas the fate lines uh, fate line timing starts from here and it hits the headline at 35 right so from if if we take this line as the fate line so we see a line coming out from the lifeline and going and making its way to the mound of saturn so you know it generally means that you know that probably uh, a fate line coming out in that fashion the reading would be that you know somehow the person was bo bonded by the family and breakthrough and there was a breakthrough made by the person from the family he kind of became independent and then uh, this age would be around say fate line so this would be around say uh, 17 or 18 and after 17 18 he bre breakthrough and made his way in the career that is one way of timing it but another way of timing it is from the lifeline so you see that line the lifeline coming in and coming in at 40 45 ish and it can be read as an offshoot at 40 45 making its way towards the saturn right so it has two times now actually cheryu covered this concept in his uh, in his writings basically how it has to be read is that you know the person at the age of 17 or 18 will make a breakthrough in the career in a way will become more independent will will uh, you know kind of uh, make his own way uh, and and break through the barriers of the family or the influences of the family so that timing comes from here 17 18 but again at the age of 40 45 he'll also get success in the career or there will be a sudden uprise or sudden success because it will be taken as an upshoot from the lifeline at the age of 40 45 so i hope you got this point because it means it, it's like a double timing right why do i call it double timing because first of all it it's it, it gets timed at 17 18 uh, if we read it as if we read it as a normal fate line making its way towards saturn it also makes a timing from the lifeline so at the age of 40 45 there is an offshoot which makes its way to mount of saturn so there are two times uh, and, and and you know the success and and because see fate line is obviously taken as a sign of more focus in career or somehow some success so that success will come two times one at the age of 17 18 when the person will break through and make success and the other timing will come when the lifeline or when the life reaches at the age of 40 45 ish so it's like double timing it right so the same point represents two times or two timings one at 17 18 and other at 40 45 ish so i hope i am clear with that concept and you got that concept because you know that's how it works that's how you time it two times right so that was one of the questions and very interesting and very good question which was asked though i have uh, covered the same uh, you know same question in my previous video but i thought i would make it even more clearer in this video right now apart from that i also wanted to you know discuss few more points now first of all when you get lines like this that is from the heart line one branch gets sucked into the headline or from the headline uh, a branch goes and joins the heart line it means that the person is using emotions into logical thinking and logical thinking is being used in emotions both are happening but the other reading often given of such kind of a marking is that the person is misunderstood right that means that his intentions were different and people took it in a different way so that kind of a marking if you see these kind of markings coming in the quadrangle it can mean that that you were at times misunderstood for uh, because your intentions might be different and you might have been understood in a different way right and this is more found commonly in the people who are dominated by saturn so if you see the saturn finger very long or the mount of saturn very elevated 
the chances of you getting misunderstood are higher and whenever you see such a combination of a long satin finger the chances of such kind of marking or markings becomes higher right uh, so yeah that is one one another point i wanted to cover apart from that you know apart from that there are few other important points like for example when we are comparing the right hand and the left hand as i've already or always talked it's your dominant hand which shows about present so uh, be it your right hand or your left hand say say your right hand is your dominant hand so which means that you do most of your task with your right hand whereas the left hand always tells about your past always tells about the the destined way right the way it was made and the right hand says that whatever you have made out of it left hand or the passive hand also tells about uh, how how uh, what you have inherited uh, from your parents or right whatever you have inherited what were whatever were your inborn uh, inborn talents whereas the right hand tells what you achieved right so i wanted to take a say, say for example i wanted to take a case here so for example the right hand is your dominant hand right and the other hand which is the left hand is your passive hand now for example you see that in your passive hand in your passive hand uh, the fat line comes out say somewhere from here and makes its way towards saturn whereas in the active hand you see the fat line coming from here itself now this will mean that you know the person will always so it was designed that the person becomes serious in career at the age of say 25 or so but on the active hands you will see uh, you saw that it is starting from the base itself now this reading means that the person will always know that when he was younger he he never uh, you know kind of uh, uh, you you can say natural frequency wasn't there to go into or become so serious about career but nevertheless the person made it serious that's why it came on the active hand so the left hand timing of the fate line was 25 whereas on the active hand it was zero so, or, or maybe say five or right five or later on so the person will realize that you know uh, he always made an extra effort and forced himself and that's why though the natural way was uh, to become serious in the career that was at 25 but that the person actually became serious much earlier so the person will realize that you know somehow he'll feel that yeah you know that time he was not having the real situations he he really fought a lot and made his way so it's a good sign if if you know if the timing here was late and the timing here was earlier on the contrary if you see the reverse thing happening so if you see the fate line from here it it was starting from the center of the palm whereas on the active hand it started much later it will mean reverse so that will mean the person will always feel that you know he could have gone into or made the career very serious much earlier but you know somehow it came out much later so that is how you can compare the left hand and the right hand also remember the left hand always tells about your past or your inherited traits whereas whatever is going on is told about in your active hand most commonly the right hand right now <clears throat> i always want uh, i also wanted to tell another point that when you see two palms are very similar right so if you see the heart line the head line and the other markings very similar for example your mother's hand has a good curving heart line and a co good curving head line and a fate line and you see your hand also to be having the same lines then that can mean that you will be very similar to your mother same way if your hand is more similar to your father or the lines are similar to your father's hand or your shape hand shape is similar to your father's hand and you will be more similar to your father on the contrary if you see that your hand is similar to none of them you'll realize that your characteristics were totally different from your parents so that's that's how i say i mean even hereditary has a role to play in in such kind of things and 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 palmistry to an extent uh, accepts that so you know if you see the the hands to be similar the hand shapes to be similar the lines to be similar to another person they can never be identical right so if they're similar the personalities will be similar and these people will be attracting similar circumstances right now i also wanted to tell another point which is that 
the lines always and they keep changing though the main lines can change only if something drastic happens to a person but the minor lines and the other lines they keep changing from time to time and frankly speaking if you if you are really pushing an effort and if you're really really pushing your way through which is the quality of jupiter so jupiter is like the pushing drive is is, is the energy source so if you are using the qualities of jupiter a lot then trust me the lines will change lines change a lot i've seen that in many of the sample pumps you know people send me after a time of two months three months and i can see the lines changing uh, because uh, of 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 a shift in focus in their thinking so yeah lines do change i mean uh, i have seen that happening in uh, happening a lot uh, i also wanted to convey another point is that you know some people who are governed by saturn mount and the saturn finger so which means that if the saturn finger is very long and and if if the saturn mount is very elevated which makes the person very serious which can make the person very careful and very hard working but that doesn't mean that the person will totally remain that i mean if the person shifts in, in energy right so mostly he'll be serious because you know the finger shape is like the saturn finger is very long so person in general will remain serious but if the jupiter mount is also developed or probably the person shifts to the optimism to the to the uh, to the uh, to the management qualities to the planning qualities of jupiter then he'll have the qualities of jupiter and saturn both so the person will be optimistic also because the saturn in true sense is always pessimistic but if you see saturn developed and also jupiter uh, you know developed then that will give the person a lot of balance also and at the same time will give the positiveness and the powerfulness of jupiter so at the end of the uh, video i want to say that you know uh, the minute you change your thought process the minute because uh, i've seen with the shift in thought process the lines change the mounts change so when when you're doing that and 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 when you when you really shift your energies and in general if all the mounts are doing really well and all the hand is all the lines are very well marked the defects a few defects and a lot of positive marking you can be assured that the person will do well and will be very productive right and and this change can happen i have seen like few people had very very depressed mounts the mounts were not at all uh, i mean uh, were not a at all elevated and they i told them you know they just force yourself and 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 try to be uh, more 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 forceful and change that way and i saw the mounts uh, getting elevated so yeah that that's mostly about this video so we discussed a lot of points we we started with the uh, with the fate line timing the double timing concept we also understood about the lines between the heart line and the head line we also discussed about comparing the right hand and the left hand and also about the different uh, other points of about jupiter saturn right so hopefully you understood a lot from this video i'm shwetank into palmistry do check my channel for more thank you take care bye bye